Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to go over the basic uh, boxer stance and footwork. All right, so for those of you guys who are right-handed, you always wanna keep your power hand in the back. If you're a lefty, you wanna keep your left hand in the back. Um, I'm gonna have, uh, me, I'm right-handed, uh, so I'm gonna have my right hand on the back. I'm gonna start off first with my feet shoulder width apart, my hands on my side. I'm gonna take a natural step with my left foot Again, if you're left-handed, you're gonna do the opposite of what I'm doing. Take a natural step forward with my left foot. I'm gonna put my hands up in the air. I'm gonna clench them into a fist and then bring them straight down to my chin, about chin level. Um, you don't wanna have them pressed up against your face. You wanna have them out here, um, just with a, you know, a little bend on your elbows. Um, always here just protecting your face, ready to come up and defend. Um, I'm going to turn my hips off to the side, um, not too far, um, like you're riding a skateboard, but I'm just going to slightly turn my hips. Uh, some boxers like to point their toes directly in front of them. I kind of tilt it just slightly off to the side, whatever feels more comfortable uh, to you, and your feet are going to be diagonal, all right? Next, I'm going to bend my knees, not too far down, but I'm going to bend my knees, Make sure that you're bending at the knees, you're not bending your hips and sticking your butt out. But just like if I was doing a squat from this position, I'm gonna bend my knees and my chin is gonna be tucked in, all right? My chin's gonna be tucked in, I'm not gonna stick it out right there, make myself vulnerable to uppercuts or other strikes in this area. So my elbows are in, my chin is tucked in, my knees are bent, um, my legs are diagonal. Um, and the other thing that's important is you're not gonna be flat footed, all right? Your feet, your heels are not gonna be on the ground. You're gonna be uh, light on your feet, so you're gonna be on your toes, all right? You see a lot of boxers um, when they're getting ready for fight and they're training, um, you know, they're not, they're not standing like this, all right? They're shifting their weight forward and backward, all right? So from here, uh, I'm gonna move, go on to my basic movement, all right? Main thing uh, when you're moving is you wanna avoid crossing your feet, all right? So if I wanted to move to my left, I'm not gonna step over with my right foot and cross my feet because I have a very bad base and I'm making myself vulnerable to, if I get, if I get hit, you know, if I get caught with a straight punch or even a, or a hook, I'm gonna go down, all right? So you always wanna have a good base. So when I'm in my stance here, I, I wanna move over to my left. I'm gonna step over my left foot first and my right leg is gonna follow. If I stepped over five inches with my left foot, I'm gonna step over right uh, five inches with my back foot. Um, you always wanna end where you left off. So same principle goes if you move forward or back or to your right. If I'm gonna to move to my right, I'm gonna step on my right leg first. My left leg is gonna follow. If I'm gonna move forward, I'm gonna step with my lead foot, my back leg's gonna follow. If I'm gonna move back, back leg goes first, next leg is gonna follow. Show you guys what that looks like from the side. I'm in my fighter stance. If I'm gonna move forward, left leg goes first, right leg follows. If I'm gonna move back, back leg goes first, my lead leg follows. To my left, left leg first, right leg follows. To my right, right leg first, right leg follows, all right? So fast, it's gonna look like this. All right, right, left, left, forward, backward, all right? Another important thing to remember as well is notice my the level of my head, okay? If I started off right here, every time I take a step, I'm not gonna pop my head up higher, all right? It's gonna be consistent. Imagine like a very low ceiling and you're ducking, and you're walking just like this, all right? So again, if you wanna end off exactly uh, like you started. When you're moving left and right, when you're first starting off, sometimes people wanna kinda step like this, all right? Don't do that. You make yourself very vulnerable uh, to strikes. You, your um, goal is to try to give your opponent as least area as possible to be able to strike. Right? So if here I'm pointing my hip towards my opponent, right, and I want to step to um, my left, I'm not gonna step out wide like this. 
This is called getting uh, being square footed. You don't want to be square footed in boxing. Right here, look at all this target area versus this right here. All right. Guys, as you're practicing this, um, it's very important to remember that this is going to take time. It's not something that you learn overnight. It's like learning a new language, right? Learning how to walk again. Um, the boxing stance, the boxing movement, especially if you get good at it, it takes time. It takes a lot of practice. If you record yourself, um, it's something that you can go back and you can watch your mistakes and fix your mistakes. Or also if you have a mirror, um, you can look at your stance in front of the mirror and, and be able to practice. Um, but be patient, um, practice often, and you're going to get it.